Hey guys, I was just uh, trying to get the explosive gel problem fixed with uh, Batman Arkham City, and for some reason, I mean, I was in a pointer frame of mind. I spent so long looking up the pointers, I and mean, that just takes hours. Well, that does for me anyway. But I guess I was just in a, point, a pointer frame of mind, and I'll show you what it's doing. Uh, this is the code right here, the pointer, uh, and my friend uh, Sneaky Mofo. Uh, he did uh, write to me and tell me, he says, well, why don't you try uh, going into the assembly script and knopping it, or just add, put an add command and make it add instead, and maybe that'll stabilize it and make it stop looping. And for some reason, that just eluded me. I, I, I guess I just wasn't thinking. Or, but sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees, or I'm just sitting there banging into a wall, and then somebody taps me on the shoulder and says, hey, Chris, the door's over here, you genius, you know. But <laughs> but that did seem to fix the problem, and I just thought, well, hey, that sounds like a good lesson, so let's take a look at it. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to show you what I did. So if you have this, uh, if you've already downloaded this uh, cheat engine codes, and you have that, you can actually change it this way yourself, if you want. So, But I am going to upload it. Uh, with it changed with the uh, script and in a little while so just bear with me on that but let me show you this all right so you see if you can look here let me uh, get off the screen if you look right here let me uh, go back into the game you see it's very unstable you see how it just kind of jumps around and all the corners for that particular address do that and especially does it even more when you run out of jails to spray I'm just going to do all three of them I didn't have a damn thing on But you see how unstable it is, and uh, he'll he'll just keep doing this this junk here. Try that again. And we go ahead and spray three more times. And you see, it's it's counting down on there, so it counted down all the way to zero. And that's what he'll keep doing, uh, even when you go in there and set set a value, like uh, put it on three, you know, with it frozen, and then when you go back, it's very unstable. And he'll just keep looking at it. Let me try that again. See, he even set it back to zero. So that's that code is just not a very good one at all. You know, using a pointer, uh, something's calling it. Uh, make it loop like that so you know basically what it is the game's writing to that address that not you ain't got nothing in there and she didn't say uh-uh we got three in there the game says no you don't and it's just they're just tug of war like that so uh steven told me said why don't you just go in there and see if you can find that subtraction and just knock it out what knopping is it's the uh, command code nop now recently i just uh found out uh through some lessons that uh, I, I've been watching that, that even the pros don't have a clue what not means or what its exact function is but we know that we use it to nullify a set of instructions so <laughs> I found that quite interesting actually so but what we're going to do is we're going to go in there and find the subtraction and we're going to knock it out to nullify that subtraction so that we just have infinite explosive gels let me uh, go ahead and get that reset back to three right quick Oops. And this is Batman Arkane City right here. So. so what we want to do is we want to uh, find where this subtraction is occurring. So we right click on it. Now this is a pointer address. This is not just the uh, regular dynamic address. It's a pointer to that address. So uh, you'll see this pop up here. So 
it says find which uh, writes the address pointed by this pointer. So that'll take us to our dynamic address. So let's go uh, spray a gel and see if we can bring up our set of instructions here. Back to it. You see here we got a couple of set of instructions, but we know here this one is the one that's actually moving the EAX is the actual value, the new value that's being moved in to replace the old one at this offset to EC, I believe. And uh, our base address is located in ECX. So we know that's what's writing uh, the new value in there. So let's start there and just take a look. Go ahead and show in this center. And you see right off the bat, look at that. It's, there's a subtraction right above it. And before we go put a, uh, a script on it, let's test it out just to see if that will solve our problem. So, what we want to do is right click on the subtraction, the subtraction right above it. That's where it's actually taking one away each time. So, uh, right click on it, and we're going to go to replace with code that does nothing. And what that does is nullifies that set of instructions so it's no longer subtracting. So go ahead and click that and it puts in our not code for us, nullifies that subtraction. So let's go back in the game and see if that takes care of our problem. And you see we're back at three. And he's just spraying all over the place. I'm in a crappy lo location to be sure but Sorry, my antivirus kicked on and is doing a scan, and that's what's causing it to lag like that. Sorry about that. Yeah, and that seemed to take care of a problem, so let's, uh, oops, let's go ahead and... So let's go ahead and take care of that uh, with a script. So restore uh, with the original code like that. And so what we're going to do is keep that subtraction highlighted. We're going to go down here to tools, uh, click on auto assemble like that. Uh, add an enable and disable uh, cheat table framework code that adds the enable and disable like that. I, I usually go with code injection. You can also go with an array of bytes. Sometimes code injections uh, still won't. Uh, take cheat engine to where it needs to go uh, when you start the game up anew. I know it does in Batman, so I'm just going to go with code injection, but in some other games you might want to go with array of bytes and uh, find array of bytes. And uh, uh, He gives a real good lesson on that on his uh, channel if you want to learn about uh, what array of bytes is and how uh, cheat engine looks for an array of bytes. But we're going to go with code injection for this right now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, knock this out uh, we see we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to put six knots right there. NOP, 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 like that. We need six of them. One, two, three. And that's basically all you do, so instead of uh, Cheat Engine or the game reading that uh, line of code that has the subtraction, it's just going to nullify it, and basically what it does, it just sees, okay, there's nothing here, so it just keeps on going. Uh, to the next thing, keeps writing to our address. Well, what's it writing? It's writing three. It's just writing three over and over and over again because no subtraction is occurring. So let's go ahead and uh, assign that to the current cheat table. Let's just, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, let's just tick that on. 
see if that fixed the problem. Yep, look at that. It's not counting down. We can just spray all day anywhere we want to, so. I mean, uh, they don't. Certain locations he can't spray on, so that's why he did that. But as you see, that did take care of the problem. It stabilized it, and it's not looping. Change that to uh, caps lock or need to change it back. But yeah, I think that took care of our problem here. So I do appreciate the help, Stephen. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this updated. But as you see, if you already have downloaded, uh, if you have already downloaded this, you can go ahead and do that yourself. Uh, just do it the way I showed you. Uh, just go ahead and knock out the instruction. Put six knops there and just save it at that subtraction and uh, that will uh, go ahead and stabilize it and uh, you can use it anywhere so it should be good to go on that so I appreciate it and uh, we'll go ahead and get that updated for you and I'll get that out to you as soon as as soon as I can you guys have a great one